You're like, I'm an adult. Sorry, I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Me. For me. I'm the one who puts out the content that's entertaining. Hello, and welcome to James, the God of War Express Lane, where we get you and out as fast as possible with. Just be curious about how. Guys, I've been begging less. I swear. Well, let's listen. Mentioned this on the level one pot. Excuse me. Let's try this again. I mentioned this on the Daily Wrap last night. Very briefly, I just want to gloss over it here on the Level 1 Podcast this morning. You may have noticed, this last week, I dramatically cut down on, if not tried to outright eliminate, any kind of outright talking about money. Begging. Asking for anything on my streams. The reason Begging. Being, there's two main reasons, okay? Number one. Begging. Is because you guys essentially have been telling me recently you're tired of it. You're like, Phil, we get it. You know, you need support. We support when we can. You talk about it too much. It's annoying. But in addition, if you haven't noticed, your fans and trolls have been telling you that for years. Recently, there's a lot of high profile YouTubers who make things like countdowns and shit like that. And when they say stuff or, or you know, I just talked about it over a week ago. It was Moist Critical who on his stream was like, you know, seems like Phil's whole thing that he's about is just constantly asking his, his contributors for more contributions. And that hits home because that's because that's all you fucking do. Not what I'm about. And you guys know that if you're actually here. To well, also, he was late to this stream. Guys, the big release of God of War, it's a masterpiece. They haven't even played it yet. How the hell do you know it's a masterpiece? But he was late. Mind you, his office is in his house. It's not like he got caught in traffic on his way to the office. It's literally waddled from the bedroom to his office, like 20 feet, if that. Enjoy the content. You know the content is because I love gaming. It's because this has been my lifelong hobby. I made YouTube videos for two and a half years before I was able to monetize anything, nor did I try to make it my living. I fell into this as a, you know, mistake, basically. When yes, a great mistake. Also, oh, I should probably find that video. If I can find it, I'm going to have it in the video of him saying, Guys, get your way from me to not have to get a real job. It's up to you. Well, we don't know what he says next. I crunched some numbers. I tried to figure some stuff out. And, uh... Basically, I could, it, realistically, I could probably make this work and be that I just make videos for YouTube as a job. Um, it being that I, now I don't have a full-time job taking up eight hours a day, you know, actually really it was more like 10 to 12 hours a day, five days a week, and having that time out of work on my videos uh, and my gameplay and other things, um, I might be able to make it work. And here's how. It's... Uh, it's not going to be based off of selling any product. It's basically going to be based off of uh, my partner channel, which is this channel, The King of Hate HD, and basically how much you guys participate with this channel, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm not allowed to come out and just say uh, you know, how you can do that, but anyone who's accustomed to YouTube and how the partner channels work, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. When I lost my office job. I was like, well, I need something. Hopefully this works, and then it ended up working. Um, I absolutely understand that people don't like hearing about it, nor do I like talking about it. As I said, it's the last thing I want to do on a stream, but that is my life where, you know, it is my livelihood is, is what I make on a stream. And there's been weeks recently where things have been slower. Let's be honest, it's probably because it was no new releases or nothing to really of note going on. And it is what it is. But I actively tried in this last week to try to not do it. And I know that I didn't 100% get there, but I tried my best. He tried and failed. Um, In reality, I don't think I've seen many people complain this week about it, <clears throat> which is a good thing. So now, of course, immediately the opposite happens, right? So what happens when the one thing that the people who always shit on Phil say is the thing that they shit on him for, what happens when that doesn't happen on Phil's streams? The next thing, it's called moving the goalpost. So here's the next thing that happened. You ready? Here's, I'm not even kidding you. Well, let's see. Phil didn't really e-beg this week at all, right? At all. So now, any time that he mentions any detractor or anything negative at all, that's what we're going to make fun of him for. Because you shouldn't mention them. Early on, when you don't know what you're doing, all right, maybe you fall for it every single time. But after a while, you got to learn, do not feed the trolls. When you feed the trolls, it does not go well for you. And mind you, he isn't new. It's not like he's been doing this for six months and guy yeah, had all this trolling early on and I, I just didn't know how to handle it. I, I, I've never had to deal with anything like that. You've been doing this for 15 years. You've been making content for 15 years. You've been having comments on your videos and then people in your chat when you started live streaming for years. And you still don't understand how to handle trolls. This is what you do. You ignore them. 
You do not mention them. You do not give them a shout out. Someone tips you two dollars, snort. You're like, oh, there's a two dollar tip. Add it to the leaderboard. Don't even read the message. Okay. So then it was the other day, and someone actually gave me advice and said you should just ignore. If you get a troll tip about drama or whatever, and if it's one of these troll bait tips where they're asking you about known detractor memes and shit like that, you should just ignore it completely. Don't give them the bait. You should. Which I said, okay, that makes sense. In some cases, like I answered the question about review tech, that was fine. That was an honest answer. But outside of that, if people are gonna bring up these dumb memes and shit about me, you're absolutely right. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna completely ignore it and not bring it up because why entertain the nonsense that I know is not true? There's just no point in doing it anymore. As he goes on about the nonsense he doesn't care about. The memes. The memes. In fact, the people who are here to enjoy my content and relax with me and have a good time with games don't care about the detractor shit, right? They wouldn't be here if that were the case. They'd be watching a restream, right? So you're right. That Shout out DBM. Advice. I said, I'm going to take that advice and we're going to cut back on that DSP. now too. So what was the, what's the next thing then? Here it is because here's how funny it is. Oh, this is great because this was all according to our plans because if Phil stops e-begging and if Phil doesn't bring up detractor drama, that means people will stop talking about him. And that means that he will actually lose attention on the internet and fade into obscurity and completely fail as a businessman and he'll be gone. I'm not kidding you. I'm literally not kidding you. This is what they said next. It's like, this is their... How do you know... Again. Wait, wait, wait. You don't watch our content, but this is exactly what they said, guys. Here's an exact quote. This is exactly what they are saying about me just 10 minutes ago, guys. How would you know if you don't watch us? The moving of the goalpost. So first it was, he e-begs too much. Okay, that's done. He's not doing that anymore. Oh, he brings up the tractor shit too much. He takes the bait. Okay, he's not doing that anymore. Oh, good. Now he'll fade into obscurity. <laughs> it's like, what I mean. Like, it just never ends. Here, the truth is what I've said over the years, okay? In summary here. I am perfectly happy to have no, you're the not. audience that I have, all right? The positive audience that I have that. Last time you were happy, you were getting drunk with John Rambo. Shut the fuck up. The level of people and interaction that I have coming to my streams who uh, Donate. have a good time with me. Donate. Chill with me. Give money. Enjoy games for what they Tip. Are, right? And I really, really like the fact that on my stream, because of the size they are and the level that they are, we can have personal interactions and conversations. We can have a good time together. We can have as long as you attach tips and super chats to them. Meaningful time, rather than me just dicking around in a game and flubbing through it and you laughing, we could actually have something more than that, something more constructive. People have told me over the last several years that since my streams have changed and the type of content that they are, they really enjoy them. That in a day, you know what? I'm gonna set it to regular speed instead of 1.25 speed we've been watching at. Now, mind you, he has over 400 people watching. He has over 400 people watching. He has 878 members. Hmm. 480 people watching on a brand new game. 878 members. Let's let's watch that chat. See, I'll move it. Slow it moves. Hey, when they're pissed off or upset, they can watch a stream of mine to put a smile on their face. They can come to a live stream, maybe have a conversation with me. They feel better. That is meaningful to them. <clears throat> okay. Holy shit, you need a night by the same. I appreciate ass. people saying that because that makes me feel like I'm doing something better than just being some dick on the internet, right? I'm actually doing something meaningful because I've changed myself for the better. All right? I have no aspiration. He's now meaningful, guys. In the past week, he stopped begging for money. That means he's now meaningful. To be a ginormous content creator. I don't think I will ever have a million subscribers on YouTube. I don't think I'm ever going to have streams that are going to have a thousand viewers anymore. I don't think, I don't aspire. Anymore? Are you admitting that those bots weren't real? Finally? There's over like 5,000 viewers when he had those bots on there. Fire for any of that. If I can stay at the level I'm at and maybe slowly grow over time, right? At a reasonable pace and at least have an audience that likes the kind of content that I put out and appreciates the kind of person and gamer that I am, I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm not looking for anything bigger than that. Because what's funny is when these people say, oh, he'll fade into obscurity. No, 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 no. What'll happen is... There were seven chats in between Nightbot postings. I can count it. All right, so 318. Seven. Nightbot at 319. Is I will fade out of the public eye. How do you have drama. nearly 500 people watching? 878 members. likes who I am and supports me. We'll still have positive content and streams, but we won't have the negative element coming in from the outside anymore to troll on me. The truth is that right. main development does not help me. It does not. It doesn't. They think it does because they want to feel more self-important and aggrandized. They're not. They have not helped me in any... SOK stopped you from getting your channel taken by Latveria Media, I think it was called. 
And then during the bankruptcy stuff, like, oh, hey, DSP lied about this. Oh, DSP is committing perjury on that. And then the next thing, oh, hey, he updated his bankruptcy forms. There's parts that we pointed out, like, hey, you're, you're going to go to jail for that if you lie about that. Considered perjury if you lie on this form. Mr. I don't have a cat. I'm buying cat food, but I don't have a cat. All right, fine, I do have a cat. God, what a dumbass. Sadly, the trolls have probably done more to help him than any of his fans. How many of his fans weren't fans until, Ah, the trolls are being mean to him. I'm going to show up and give him all my money because I'm OIC, Brightside Viking, Emerald 7, King Tut, Jack's Razor, whatever. <laughs> well, that will let you guys go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.